Hey guys, what's going on? We've got another Alliance War video for you today, and today we're going to be facing off against Xylo Apocalypse. So this is going to be a really, really short war for me. Um, I was actually back up in Section 1, and I did not need to back anybody up. So I'm just getting my team together here. And we're going to skip right over to our Section 2 fights. So for Section 2, we're going to be on Path 3 which is the biohazard and best defense path. So for our first fight, it's going to be a MODOK. And we're just checking the nodes here, the globals. And I'm going to be taking in Ghost. So I did some light boosting for this fight, and um, they are running Bulwark. So I'm going to wait for that Indestructible to go away, just do the one-hit combos. Parry if I have to, just to be safe. And this is a pretty common placement. I think it's okay, um, but I definitely think there are better options. So just taking this fight slow, there's not really a whole lot to say about it. And we're going to finish with our special two. And our next fight here is going to be a Nightcrawler. And this node has um, the best defense, which is like the enhanced ability to evade attacks and auto block um, and it also has backup recovery so um, I'm just going to be mindful of the backup recovery make sure that I'm not pushing um, his power too high before that kicks in and there goes the backup recovery so I'm going to finish with my special two, and that fight is over. So we're going to be moving on now, uh, and taking this Corvus. Anytime that I die to a fight, I died to a, a stun immune Corvus last season as a mini boss, and anytime that that happens, um, and I feel like I should have won that fight like it was a good matchup and I just made a mistake. Um, I always like to try to retake the fight at another point to, I guess, kind of get redemption for it. So last time that I did this fight, I got parried. So I'm going to do my best, um, you know, not to let him phase through me more than once. Sometimes I'll do it um, if I can tell that his second hit... You know, if I'm if I'm quick enough with it. And also with Corvus, I like to push him to his special too. Um, it's just easier to punish. And there I was a little bit too quick with the retaliation. And got hit, so. Just trying to get this fight back together and If I have to manually dodge um, the second part of his special one in war, I won't punish it. Um, but if I phase it, then um, usually the spacing is okay to punish it. So there I dodged it. I'm not going to go back in afterwards. 
And I'm just block hitting him now to um, maintain space. Got a good intercept off there and we will finish with a special one. So aside from that one slip up, um, I did feel like I kind of redeemed myself with the stun immune Corvus fights. And I think that that was actually my last fight this war. We did lose. That was our first loss of the season. And because of how short the war is, um, I just tacked on a crystal opening at the end. So... I have no idea why I put this one in here. Um, every once in a while I'll, I'll open like a single cavalier crystal just to see. And I never know why I do it because... Um, it's never good. <laughs> it always turns out to be a, a three star. And here we uh, picked up our featured five star from the Black ISO market. And the only thing that I'm trying to get from this crystal, well there's two, I want a Black Widow Clairvoyant and Warlock. Anything else, um, you know, I'm not particularly interested in. So we're going to open this one up, and we got a Red Hulk. So that's okay. Uh, first time pull. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next war video.